Uh, g'day playmates and uh, welcome to another Harm of Vid. Uh, this is uh, a little bit different. Um, I am going to go through the uh, Thrustmaster uh, Hotas Warthog, particularly the throttle. And it's uh, this vid is aimed at those folks who, like me, have had problems with the uh, target designator uh, cursor on the right hand um, throttle. Uh, it's a small nipple that acts like a mouse and uh, I've had my uh, warthog for oh god probably five six years so it's well out of warranty. I've, I've had problems with it. Uh, I've probably been inside inside it more times than well yeah. Uh, so um, when I had a problem a number of years ago with the TDC nipple not working correctly. Uh, it wouldn't control properly. It would be all over the place. It, it, it was just inoperable. Uh, I thought, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to replace it. Uh, there's a replacement part that's available uh, from a third party that does away with it. Um, so I thought, look, I'm you know probably going to have to spend over a hundred dollars uh, to to buy the replacement and uh, and get it shipped uh, so basically i didn't use the tdc slew uh, because it wasn't working properly uh, however uh, thanks to let me just put that away thanks to the uh, dcs uh, ed forums uh, some recent software has come to light and uh, i'd like to dedicate this <laughs> vid to those couple of guys, two or three guys that I, I got the uh, software and ideas from to to fix the problem. Uh, the problem uh, didn't need to be fixed through hardware, it just needed to be fixed through software. So if like me, um, you're having problems with the, uh, the TDC SLU nipple, then uh, you can fix it by downloading two pieces of software. The first one is VJoy uh, Setup, and that's basically a driver. Um, and the driver is required for this other piece of software, Joystick Gremlin, uh, to work. And inside the folder, there's an executable, which is there. Okay, I've already got the ex executable uh, running so um, let me here we go it's running uh, so as you can see here um, it's got all my uh, devices and the one that's relevant of course is uh, the th uh, th throttle uh, HOTAS um, so this is all you need to do once you run this software and uh, I'll make a special point of saying that when I installed the driver software first of v VJoy, uh, it sort of looked as if it was, uh, it, it didn't look as if it was uh, installing correctly, it just took ages and ages and ages and ages. Anyway, in the end I force quit it. Uh, and restarted my PC uh, and everything was fine uh, the um, because basically when you open up joystick gremlin it, it actually looks for vjoy and if it doesn't find it it will tell you that you know it won't run without vjoy so um, yeah so anyway this is what you need to do the two axes uh, for that um, TDC nipple uh, is the X axis and the Y axis. Uh, obviously, uh, the uh, the slider is, is, is for the gray slider, so on and so forth, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, anyway, this is what you need to do. So it's a matter of clicking on there, and then you need to add an action into this side. Um, so essentially, uh, this is what you would do. Um, you would go to add an action, and then uh, it would come up with the uh, joy device x axis uh, you don't need to alter those but what you do need to do is remap it to mouse map to mouse 
Okay. And you do exactly the same with the Y axis. Uh, map to mouse. Okay. Once you've done that, uh, you can go to tools and uh, have a look at the input viewer and uh, we'll need to go to uh, obviously the throttle we need to look at the uh, axes and uh, as you can see that's the um, axis 5 is the is the gray slider uh, axis 4 and 3 they're the um, uh, you know they're the uh, actually I've got them linked together let me just yeah Uh, okay, so now um, when you when you actually work the nipple, uh, you can see everything's fine. Okay, so once you've got that happening, you know you're in business. Okay, uh, so the last thing that you've got to do. Uh, with this is to make sure that the software is running under DCS so as you can see down here uh, at the bottom left hand status is not running now it's green as you can see running and active um, so once that's running and active you just simply go to um, uh, and open up DCS you need to go to settings um, and this is the controls that I'm using. Uh, actually, let me go back to system and special. Um, you need to go to FA18C because this is basically what I fly most of the time. And this was the one that had the annoying slew problem. So you need to tick uh, realistic TDC slew. Uh, then go to controls. Uh, let me just move this over here uh, and as you can see you know all the controls are listed uh, in columns and lo and behold the VJOY device has also uh, come up uh, as well uh, so next is going to axis commands and you need to go down to here we go uh, TDC horizontal axis and TDC vertical axis. Now, if you've already bound these um, to your uh, to your throttle, then you in this box here you'll see Joy X and Joy Y instead of it being there. In that case, what you need to do is you need to you need to clear that. You need to clear both of those for the uh, throttle. And uh, all you simply do is, um, let me just clear that. All you simply do is uh, go to key button and go to Joy X and OK. All right. Now, I also did a little bit of uh, access tuning as well. Uh, and I, all I did was basically set a dead zone of four. And also on the joystick Y, uh, I inverted it as well, uh, so, so that when I pulled the nipple up, um, it went up towards the top of the screen and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. Uh, all right. So I hope I didn't go too quickly through that. So obviously you need to go OK to save all that lot. So now if I go into instant action and go to um, I don't know let's go to Nevada uh, ready on the ramp so I mean obviously if your TDC slew uh, mini joystick is working correctly and fine look you know you don't need that but this may be for other people uh, that have got an older uh, an older uh, warthog uh, and like me have been having problems um, and the great thing is it's it's a free fix uh, the software doesn't cost anything okay
Uh, alrighty, well, uh, here we are, started up and on the apron, so uh, let's bring up the uh, radar here and let's bring up the essay page here. Uh, so here we go, um, let's make that soy. Sensor of interest, a little diamond will come up in the top right hand, there it is, and now look at this, wow, this is just so good. Fine movement, quick movement. I mean, like this, I'd just never been able to do this before uh, because, uh, yeah, it was just always all over the place. And sometimes the cursor would move when I wasn't even touching the, touching the damn thing. All right, so uh, yeah, let's now move over and make the uh, SA soy. Uh, top right hand, little diamond will come up. There it is. And now, we've now got slew control, or rather I have anyway. And, uh, you know, just being able to, to use the f <laughs> this f facet again is just great. All right, so uh, yeah, look, there you have it, Playmates. Uh, if this helps you out, then thank the guys on the, on the DCS forums because um, I only tweaked settings that they recommended. Okay, well, uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Okay, cheers. Bye.